Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Sunday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in four decks of cards for this reading today to connect with the energy around you, your person, your journey. We're going to bring in the Twin Flame Signs and Synchronicity Oracle. I'm also going to bring in the Twin Flame Tarot Moodizi. And because you're receiving messages and music right now, I'm going to bring in the What Do The Songs Mean Oracle and the Divine Love Messages Through Music. So what do you need to know? So... What message through music are you receiving right now? Jump straight out. Jump straight out. What's the energy around them? What message are they receiving through numbers and messages? Well, they're receiving messages and numbers as well. Wow. And what messages are they receiving through music? What messages are they receiving through music? So I feel that this is the message they're receiving through music. I'm going to put it there. And these are the messages they're receiving through signs and synchronicities and numbers. That's coming through very clear. So I'm going to start with that in a moment. So what's the energy around the journey? Okay, let's connect with these mashes first then because I'm really connecting with an energy around this. And I'm going to bring in what do the songs mean oracle as well. What's the energy around you today? Ah, the angels are saying shuffle all the cards, Liz, and then put it all together. So I'm doing what I'm being told here. What's the energy around the connection? What's the energy around the connection? And what's the message coming through for them through songs? What's the message coming through for them through songs? Here we go. So I'm going to put what they're hearing through songs separate to what they're hearing through numbers or noticing through numbers. What's the message coming through here for you? What's the guidance coming through today for you? Jump straight out. I'm going to pick those cards up there. And what message are they receiving? <clears throat> Give me a slight block <clears throat> in the throat chakra that's been healed. So blocks in communication are being healed right now the energy around the connection today here we go and what sign or synchronicity are you receiving today straight out what sign or synchronicity are they receiving lots of things coming out here lots of things for them so i feel they are definitely receiving lots of guidance today about the journey and especially as we prepare for this new week and the energy around the connection here what's the message two cards okay so let's start with your energy today then. So I'm going to just pop these to one side. So the energy around you is mirrors. Wow, now this card flew out of the deck over the camera for you. So you're receiving messages in music that you are mirrors. That you are going through very similar experiences. That you may be experiencing the same things, the same feelings, the same thoughts, the same emotions. So you can guarantee whatever you're feeling, they are feeling too. So if you're missing them, they are missing you. If you're longing for them, they are longing for you. If you're on fire for them, you know, physically wanting them, they are feeling that way for you. And a lot of the time you feel what you're feeling because of the way that they are actually feeling. So you are mirrors and you are also mirrors to each other, which means you open each other's core wounds. You open each other's darkest depths so you can go within and heal the things that need to be healed. Yeah, you desire each other in this way. So they're definitely wanting you intimately. So what I'm connecting here is you are mirrors of each other because you want each other intimately, physically. You want each other in this way, this 18 plus, gotta have you now, I want you way. And any song you're hearing right now will hit you in the feels in that way. So hitting you in the feels means making you emotional, reminding you of a time you shared together, or just bringing up lots of feelings inside. And I feel that a certain song you hear is going to not only remind you that you are mirrors, but it's going to make you very aware of the fact that they want you in this way and you want them in that way. And that's what you're going to be feeling. So I feel the heat is rising. The Kundalini is rising. There may well be some heat around in the world as well, because this is mirroring this energy. It's being mirrored out of you. So when you're feeling that longing, it can be very frustrating, especially when you're not together and you're wanting to be with them and you're wanting to touch them and make love to them and kiss them and, you know, just have them next to you. So focus on gratitude because gratitude will uplift your vibration, especially if you're going through anything. It's making you feel angry and frustrated because fire creates desire and the fire is creating this feeling inside like a volcano that's ready to explode. And when volcanoes explode, they can be very angry. So you may be also sensing anger today. You may be feeling angry. You don't know why. Why am I feeling angry? Why? That's not me. That's not my energy. That's coming from them because they are angry at themselves 
and they are frustrated within themselves because they want to be with you intimately and for whatever reason it is they are struggling to be with you that way whether it's because they need confidence or they need to release a karmic partner or they're just feeling guilty about things or they just don't know how to contact you or reach out whatever it is they are feeling angry about this energy and there's got the emotions that you know emotional so again this is the king energy this is what they are experiencing so when you're feeling emotional it's because they are feeling that way if you're feeling the need to run away and hide it's because they are feeling that way so you're going to be experiencing each other's energy as mirrors and if you want answers very quickly today you can use a pendulum use a pendulum for quick answers and clarity especially if you're going into anger high emotions frustration fear sadness doubt they're giving me fear the way you can release that quicker yeah a lot of fear being released there when i'm connecting with this answers you can use a pendulum to bring clarity in and a pendulum is just a psychic tool you can use a spiritual tool you can use it can have a crystal on the end or it can just be a necklace or something you pick up that is able to swing and you can ask am i okay Am I okay? And it will answer you. There we go. That's what mine does for a yes. Is it going to be okay? Is it going to all work out for you? Yes, it is. Look how it's swinging round. You know, and you can test it with a no by saying, is my name Joanne? Well, you know it's not. And it swings down like that for a no. For, so for me, when I use a pendulum, it swings that way for a no. And it, for show me a yes, please. It swings, and I'm not moving this, this is doing it by itself, because, and can you show me a don't know, there you go, because I'm thinking it in my mind, don't know, don't know goes diagonally, now, everyone uses pendulums in different ways, and everyone's pendulum will behave differently, so for me, for example, it swings around like this, and I'm doing this now to show you, it swings around like this for a yes, it goes like this for a no, and it goes diagonal for a don't know, so you can ask questions to gain clarity and answers, and that will calm you down. Instead of maybe using a deck of cards and then maybe getting a mixed answer or you're not sure what the, not sure what the cards mean. And I feel that really the message coming through for you today with the polar bear is to not give up because you're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost in reunion. You're almost coming back together. You're almost in union. Whatever it is you're after. You're almost there. Don't give up now. The songs are showing you the truth that you are mirrors, that you have to go through this energy. So that you understand what you're feeling, especially when you're going through very deep and intense emotions. So focus on gratitude to boost your mood, especially if you're alone right now, if you're taking time out for you. And remember, you're never alone. You are surrounded by heaven and your person is inside of you. And maybe you want them inside of you in this way. And remember, they desire you in that way too. So don't give up now. You're almost there. And I feel this is you're almost there to being with them in this way. That's what you want, that's what they want, and that's what's being manifested. And if you want further information quickly today, you can use a pendulum for those quick answers. Now, I'm really getting that they are receiving signs in numbers and other ways, as well as through music. So first of all, what are they being shown? Look at this, this is the music, the power of love. So when they are listening to music, or when they are receiving a song, they're being reminded of the power of the love. They're being reminded of what this love is. And the song is showing them and showing you that you'll be together. So there's a real energy today about coming together in more ways than one. Keeping it light and uh, PG. You know what I mean by that. You're going to come together in more ways than one. So the power of love is showing them that they will be with you. That you will be together. So when they are hearing a song, it's showing them that you'll be together. Now when they are seen a number sequence or some other sign it's showing them that they will stay by your side to stay to stop running that you are out there somewhere that it's not over between you this is what they've been reminded in numbers that there's going to be a resurrection energy that you are coming together and i feel the number sequence they show me here is 10 10 so the 10 energy of the 10 of cups is about you guys being together because remember the angels are showing them that you're going to be together and this is a message for you now that you're going to be together with this happy home and union. So if they are seeing 10, 10, which I feel they are, they're getting the power within them to resurrect this connection, to come to you somewhere, wherever you are and to stay with you by your side. Now to make that happen, they are cleansing and aligning their chakras. 
They may even be going through ascension because they are on their way. So don't give up because union is close and your dreams are manifesting. So if you're seeing the eagle, that's a huge sign that they are returning to you and that you are manifesting your dreams. You're going to have happy holidays this year. They want to be able to spend, <coughs> giving me <coughs> a block in the throat because they want to be able to send you a holiday message and to be around you at the holidays. So not all of them are going to be able to be with you for this Christmas time, but they definitely want to be. And many of you will have this holiday happiness. So they are gaining confidence in who they are to gain all the resources they need to be able to give you everything that you want. And they are being given everything they need from the universe to succeed, to have confidence in who they are. And they are actually being guided to crystals to assist with their healing at this time. That could be using crystals, wearing crystals, being drawn to crystals, even if they're not sure what crystals are, they're being drawn to them in some way. So for you today, the healing is to use a, to use a pendulum and they're being guided to use crystals. Now, yeah, look at this music is speaking to you. And that's absolutely what I felt even before I pulled any cards. The music is speaking to you. And this is for the journey here. And also the readings are giving you further guidance. So you're receiving messages today through music and through readings you're having. To be patient, to be calm, to have faith in the journey. Yeah, look at this for powerful. The song is saying to you, it's not over, it's just beginning. So enjoy the silence. Wow. So when you're hearing a song about silence or, and this can be enjoy the silence by Depeche Mode. But this is to enjoy the journey because even in the silence, the quiet times, the separation, the no contact, it's not over between you. It's just beginning. And that's what you're being shown today. You will be together. You will have that happy home and union that the Ten of Cups is suggesting. You will be together because they are showing that the power of love is bringing you together. And you're being shown through music yourself that you are mirrors and what you feel they feel. And what they feel is they want to be with you intimately. They want you this way. And when you focus on gratitude, it opens the door. So don't worry if they're silent. They want to share that emotion with you. They want to open up. They intend to do that. So don't give up. You're almost there. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.